better place is you don't pressurise the yeah. ball. And you can kind of understand why the Arsenal players got a little <laughs> worked out. Just, just Very much little, so. Just a little bit. Uh, so, uh, Trevor, what did you make of... Uh, well, it's an like expensive mistake when it's two points well, for Arsenal right. at this yeah. stage. I mean, you know, they're out of the title race. It's definitely Manchester United as far as I'm concerned. So it's a Champions League second spot battle in now between Liverpool and Arsenal. I favour Arsenal slightly. And Newcastle are edging back into it. And, and they meet on Saturday week at Highbury. So that's a big game. OK. Well, two minutes away from winning the Coca-Cola Cup, only to lose the replay in extra time. One minute away from the FA Cup final. And still, eight seeds. There are 16 seeds. Now, Fro, and I heard you saying earlier that if you were playing the early match, you would have had to get, get up at the crack of dawn. I understand. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll ask you this question after we've looked at uh, the second page of the seeds, headed by the man we want to talk about, Boris Becker, because I understand he got up at six this morning. That's his regime. Got up at six, had some muesli, a lot of water. Practiced for two hours, had a banana, some more. A little slip by that unfortunate there for, for Woodford because he was looking to get into the net, and that's what he's wanting to do all the time, but the length of Muster's shots is way too deep. Forced into a rally that he doesn't want to play, and inevitably the error, a close one, just by the smallest of margins. A super rally there, unusual for, for grass courts, and... Muster eager to get on with this. He's supercharged. Time. And Woodford almost a little bit shell shocked in comparison. So the score one, two, third set. Both men have now served seven aces. Yes. Fifteen on. And look where Muster is as he plays this ball way outside the tram lines and curves the ball in. And he got under that again, trying to play it fairly upright. You see, he's not really leaning over it quite as much as he often does. And as I say, against Philippoussis, it almost seemed to work. Trying to save his back, he was then. to this set. Could be interesting. I'm sure Anna Kern will bring to mind uh, the doubles he suddenly started serving against Krychek in that uh, important semi-final in Stuttgart. Yeah, he's out. Uh, here are two break-back points for Rosetsky. His first break points of the set. One out of one so far from the first set. Oh. And now it's two out of two. And uh, no wonder Greg just looks across at Sampras, because that is scarcely credible what happened there. But Rosetsky is right back in this set at 4-5. Back to the Paris Open with Mercedes. So Rosetsky looked down and out. Serves for five all. Yes. And if Rosetsky was somehow to squeeze out this second set, even for Sampras, it's a monumental haul back. He's got to hold on here. 
Yes, he needs the big serve to operate. He needs to keep the pressure on Sampras suddenly. He doesn't want Sampras to, I don't think, to stroke a few ground strokes to get into a bit more of a rhythm again. He's obviously down, the American. Clear thought there. I think a sensible point because he's taken the pace off the first serve, just 166 k's, got it in deep, got in quickly. Go on, yes. Frown never far away from Rosetsky. Intense concentration. Time. This hit is very difficult to deal with, and Sampras wasn't close to dealing with that one. Also, I think, frankly, he was a bit fed up just playing all the ground strokes, and uh, for once really wanted to let the forehand rip. He's, he's held back on it a bit, and I think uh, sensibly, because he can get a bit wild in it. I just wonder about uh, those double faults reminding me, as they do, of uh, Stuttgart, whether this just isn't the first sign that... Uh, Sampras is going to find it so much more difficult to uh, emulate Roy Emerson, for instance, to win another Grand Slam. Another major. Five all. Well played. Super touch there. Again, the backhand looked a bit iffy, but the forehand was spot on. Cancel. Rosetsky so disappointed because he'd done all the hard work. Better backhand volley that time. Ranks behind Richard Krychek this year in games won, wins 88% of them. Krychek at uh, 89 service games. seems to be just plug away on that Sampras backhand and these mistakes will happen. And it's uh, good frustrating tennis. Remember Courier beating Sampras using that tactic one year at the US Open. He did nothing but nothing but play to the Sampras backhand. The slam done. <laughs> Even Rosetsky admitting to a smile here, the Sampras trademark. That's Might have seen that uh, strip of uh, plaster, elastoplast, that he's got attached to his back, uh, Sampras. Keep up the warmth. He used it uh, against Philippoussis, against Martin. And he says when the adrenaline's shooting through his body, he hardly feels any pain, so I don't feel uh, that he's getting much pain at the moment, but uh, mental pain perhaps. Bluff from Greg, but Sampras 
holds on that time. And uh, another racket for the stringer, 6-5, second set. Rosetsky coming out now to serve for the third time to stay in the set. If he does so, we're in for a tiebreak. Still looking good with the stats, is the bread. Shot to change things round if ever there was one. So yes. And so. And that's good play by Rosetsky, not letting the uh, one Sampras stunning backhand stun him, going where his strength lies, and where he saved quite a few break points out wide on that left court. Sampras raises his game just a notch. Just wonderful balance. Yes, balance. Look how he keeps it even having played when the concentration just lets loose or lets down. Oh, well, the body line tactic by Rosetsky working served so well against Gustafsson when he would hit the Swede a number of times that one into the body. And again. So we're a point away from a tiebreak. And another serve at 217. It seems to be the barrier this week. Perhaps he doesn't go any higher than that. <laughs> well, this is the 18th set they've played against each other, and 